Poče. What you have on each of these? Uh, dollar. Okay. I'll have to ask my husband on that. Okay. Uh, probably take uh, twelve on that. Twelve on this yeah. set. Okay, cool. If you could check on that, yeah. that would be awesome. I'll ask him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Five. Five. Okay, awesome. Thank you. That's really cool. You don't see a lot of stuff like that. <laughs> So pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like that. I don't know. Like maybe 1930s or something. Wow. That's oh, really man. cool. It's in Monroe. Oh. <laughs> My breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to say your old stool up here? Uh, which stool? Oh, no, I don't think so. Would you mind if I pop that down here just so I have both hands? Is that okay? Oh, sure. So, thank you so much. How much are your boots? Uh, ten. Ten? Okay, cool. Thank you. Let me check this out, guys. Mm -hmm. 
that when you go to the flea market house, somebody can end up with this like Twenty two dollars for a Uh where's my lighter going or my extra? Excuse me. This stuff's already paid for. Oh, okay. So no, that's all right. That's why I put it over here to get out of the way. <laughs> oh, that's all right. You didn't know. <laughs> How much is the plate? Um, I'll take, let's see, how much? I said a dollar. A dollar five. five. Two. Two for that. Could you take 15 with those boots with it as well? So a couple of dollars off. Five. Well, thank you ever so much. I give you the right change so I don't take yours. <laughs> I know it helps. <laughs> thank you so much. England, England originally. <laughs> I've been there several times. My dad. Oh, have you? Uh, we taught English history and European history and Renaissance and Reformation. Oh, amazing! Where have you been in there? Yeah. Where have you been over there? Oh, like all over. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. This is really cool. Yeah, that was mine. Wow. So like years. That's amazing. <laughs> How much is this? Oh, uh, take. I'll take ten for that. Ten for that. I'll check with my kids. Thank you so much. That's so cool. <laughs> well, so you can't get. Do you want a bag for you? Um, sure. Hand? Is that okay? <laughs> Even if it's just these two it's little bits. This. Yeah, yeah, I don't want it to get hurt. That'll work. Well, we thank you. To Ireland, like uh, in the March, not this year, but last yes, year. Yes, yes. Uh, that's cool. We got to go on one trip with all my family, my yeah, parents, uh, yeah. I usually have a lot of visitors, but not right now, unfortunately. But yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you ever so much. Maybe it'll ease up for too long. I hope so. Here's the hope. It is. You're absolutely right. I think that's a 34 and 34. Okay. There's some variety. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? Fine. Wonderful. Doing okay? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. I do, I have three little boys, so. <laughs> Our grandson loves it. Does he really? <laughs> That's cool. I'll have to check with them. That's fun. Oh, is it in here as well? Yeah. Wonderful. You know anybody like, won't say dishes. Alrighty. We got a six piece of $25. Oh, wait, I'll take a look. Thank you so much. Yeah.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Y'all have so a lovely much. day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, would you like your hanger back? You can take them. Are you sure? Well, thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> How much is your bag? I can't remember what Sarah said on that. Oh, <laughs> I keep, I, oh, no, I didn't. I thought I missed a price, but I didn't. Let's do, what do you say, Mom? Five. Say five. Five? Okay, I'll think about it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure he'll wait. Eleven D. I see. Eleven D. He wants five dollars. I thought I'd never buy one. Federal stereo systems already sold. Guy just sent me through that. Gotcha. It is across the street from you. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, that's easy. <laughs> All those blue jeans, except the top, the dark ones, are all the same size. Okay, cool. Thank you. I'm gonna give you two dollars for the reason. <laughs> and we don't. I didn't. Okay. I don't know how to do this mask thing. That's the reason. I mean, I've got mine in my oh, pocket. Oh, you're <laughs> But I'm like, do you wear them when you're outside? I know. I know. I take mine anyway, just in case. But like, I've been to somewhere they're really busy, and it's a good idea. But right. like this, it's you know. <laughs> and it's I, all good. I totally forget. Like when I'm running into a gas station. Yeah. Now, if I know I'm gonna be in there for a duration. Yes. And then I'm in the gas station. I'm like, oh, I'm the only one that don't have one. Oh, I know. I'm forever. My husband's text me saying, come back. <laughs> I forget. It is just, and I hang mine on my mirror. Yeah. In my car yeah. To remind me that. No. I don't know. If maybe we're we'll ever, get used to it, or maybe we won't have to. I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> we may live like this for another year. I maybe. Don't know. We'll see. But thank you so You're much. Welcome. I appreciate it. To your costumes. I think she's got five on the ones that's all together. Okay. Yeah. Got two, I guess. Okay, cool. How about like would this be five as well? Um I don't think so. I think the she's in here. Just that one. Okay, okay, thank you. I appreciate it.
Okay. The broad one too. Okay. I saw that. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty there. How about this one? Two. Two. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Clothes. All the stuff out there is a dollar. Okay. These are ten. These are fifteen. And okay. then these are kind of like I think those are all prime. These are kind of all prime. This one I didn't see one. But, oh five. I did. Thank you. you can, <laughs> hey. Do three on it. Do three. Are you yeah. sure? Oh yeah. well thank you very much. Yeah. I'll do five for both of those. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, really? Okay. Are you staying here? Okay. <laughs> I guess she's staying here. <laughs> Come on, go back in the Sorry. house. <laughs> Come on. I'll go in here for a minute and see. Mommy's gone. Go for a walk. <laughs> you might go ahead and just take her. Just take her and make her, y'all, huh? Just starting, really. But there seems to be quite a lot going on, so that's mm -hmm. that's kind of cool. That's not bad at all. I haven't got to go to many this year. There been no, it's kind of slow, which I guess is understandable. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's nice to be outside though, you know, like fresh air. And yeah. it's nice, it's it is. It's not bad at all. Do you happen to have change? Um, what, you, what, what? Uh, I have a 20 yes, to yes, the 15. Do. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry about that. I got, it should be five altogether. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Maybe you'll be five oh, okay. perfect. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so dear. much. You have, have a lovely day. the boots and the little okay. tray. Oh, you. Okay. Let me get you a bag. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you know how much was on this? I don't. It didn't have a sticker. Okay. Is a dollar okay? That'll work. Okay. Because I don't know what and she had to go move the car and I have no, no worries. <laughs> so, so four dollars. Perfect. Thank you so okay. much. You're welcome. You have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you.
All right, you guys, so here comes the haul from these yard sales. Forgive me, I am cramped into my garage. I have stuff everywhere at this point that I need to list and process. So I'm kind of tucked down in a corner near my Christmas trees and things. So that's where we are. Welcome. Um, so I'm going to go over this particular sale first. I think this was the second sale I went to, and it was kind of interesting to me. So I had a church sale that started at 7 a.m. If you haven't seen that haul yet and that thrift with me, you should definitely go check it out. I'll try and link it here if I can remember. Remember, um, it was really, really good. I did really well. And I was actually there from seven till eight. And I knew there was one other cell that I wanted to get to that was about five minutes from that church that started at 8am. It was only posted that morning. And um, it showed some pictures it said it was like vintage collectibles and things like that. So I definitely wanted to hit it up. Usually when they say vintage collectibles, it means they know what they have sometimes at least and they'll sort of upcharge, which is fine. You can still find good stuff sometimes. Um, but this was something that was featured in the photos. So while I was sort of getting ready that morning, I decided to just pull comps on this and see if it was worth shooting over to that yard sale. And it was. I decided this was going to be worth trying to pick up, depending on what they were asking. Well, I got out of the, uh, the churchyard sale at about eight. Um, and so obviously that one had already started. I decided to head over to this one anyway, just on the off chance that no one had made it there yet. And when I got there, it was packed full of people um there was a huge bench that had a lot of these collectibles all the vintage items there was electronics there was star wars figures there was all kinds of stuff and i could not get in there it was shoulder to shoulder gentlemen shall we say who were all looking at the stuff together and making piles and pricing stuff out and all that good stuff they were they were going for it and i couldn't get in i now if it wasn't covid I would have wedged myself in there pretty much, but I'm not going to do that. There's no way for social distancing. It's not worth it to me. So uh, when I got there, I noticed that this was like on the edge. I'm sure you saw in the video and I kind of like weaseled my arm to the side because no one was looking at it. No one was bothered. I just couldn't get to the table and pulled it out. And I asked the woman how much it was and she asked her husband, $5. Well, the comps for this are around 150, ooh, like 100 to 115 brand new. And it turns out that this i've taken it all apart i'm not gonna take it apart again now but i've taken it all apart i did it at the sale as well it is brand new even down to like the plastic and things and the instruction manuals have never been torn open it's never been used all the stickers and stuff are still on top of the handset that like say what it does and how it lights up it's never been used so this thing for five dollars which is what he wanted for it was an absolute bargain i've got it listed for 125 with best offer and i think it's going to do really well so that was score number one even though and here's my here's the moral of my story even though this place was packed with what looked like potentially pickers or resellers or just people who were very savvy at yard sales there were still things to be found so I got that um and then I picked this plate up as well I think I paid a couple of dollars for this I'm not sure what the mark is it looks like an M uh, it's going to be really hard to show you unfortunately there we go you can kind of see it there I need to do some research but I picked it up based on style it was super beautiful I thought it was cool it's just like you know a little trinkety thing but I think I could sell it on style if nothing else for like 15 to 20 um I got this sweatshirt vintage Auburn University sweatshirt made in the USA here's the older paper tag um now she charged me a dollar for this again everybody was busy and distracted with all the electronics and stuff so i snatched this up for a buck and i can sell this for 30 to 35 easily and then they had these boots there as well i kind of if i'm honest i picked around the outside of everybody right and all this stuff was there so there was still plenty left over um, and these are men's sorel boots i looked up the style number while i was there they're in really nice condition um and it looks like they're selling anywhere from 40 to 70 so with them being in good condition i'm probably going to list closer to like the 60 dollar mark um i ended up she wanted 10 for those i ended up offering her 15 for all four of these items so that would make these seven and she took it and i went on my merry way to the next yard sale so definitely a win there all right uh one other yard sale i stopped at i didn't really find anything there of interest but i did find this for a dollar uh xxx rude this is sold at hot topic it's a men's line it's a size extra large and as you can see it is a corgi themed shirt obviously this will sell just based on the novelty <laughs> um okay then the next yard sale one yard sale i picked up a wreath for myself which totally doesn't count because it was for me for valentine's day so mm, that's probably in there somewhere if not that's what i grabbed and then i stopped at two that were next to each other and um, at the first one i grabbed this little halloween costume i'll tell you why i grabbed it now it has a couple of marks i need to try and get those marks out and i think i can it's it should be easy just to like spot clean but it is a, it is a proper disney little mermaid the tag 
looks older to me it's disguised but it does look older like paperish as well and um, but i grabbed it because it is a long sleeve one which is more modest and some parents are going to be looking for that and it is also a full length mermaid tail so grab that one with halloween coming up we'll have to list that asap and then this item was there for three dollars it is a new with tags free people shirt now it's not the best i gotta be honest i'm not super keen personally on the style it says five i only paid three um I don't know. I still think it'll sell, but it's probably only going to sell for sort of 15 to 20, if I'm honest. But it is at least a size large, so it's a good size. But new with tag free people, it's really hard to pass up for three dollars. Um now she had some jeans at that sale. They were miss me jeans. I would have definitely picked them up. I just picked them up for five bucks a while ago. They had a little bit of damage and a mark to them, and they sold for 30 in two days. Uh, but she wanted 15 a pair, and that's just a little bit too high for me. Even if they flip quickly for 30, that's too high for me. So I left them behind. All right, next yard sale. Um, I have no idea what this is, but it's made by the same brand that makes like Hello Kitty, I think. It's made in Japan, it's the Sanrio brand and this is from the very early 80s i believe yeah well 1984 the little twin stars and i looked at some comps i couldn't find this tray anywhere but things like um little bags or like just some of the stationery and stuff seems to be doing really well and has a following so worth picking up for a dollar i think just to test it out and then i got a pair of women's Timberland, just leather sort of hiking boots. Very, very basic hiking boots for $3. All right, you guys, that is everything that I picked up at these yard sales. Let me know what you think. Do you think this was a score? And would you have grabbed it or would you have gone specifically to that yard sale in search of it like I did? I don't know. I'm glad I did now, but I definitely could have easily missed out on it since there were so many people there. I'm glad I didn't. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like thrifty content, especially thrift with me's and hauls, and definitely like content about reselling and stuff as well, then do you think by hitting subscribe down below and the bell notification so you can see when the next video goes up. We have daily videos going out at this point and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye, you guys.